Hey, what's up? Today I want to show you how to use your scapula in the bench press. There's a lot of misconceptions about how to engage the scapula when benching. Some people think that you need to pull your shoulder blades and your shoulder girdle back and down. Other people think it doesn't matter at all what you do with your scapula. Well, I think that the best way to use your scapula in the bench press is to focus on scapular depression. One way to think about that is the inverse of a shrug. You want to keep your shoulders away from your ears. When you unrack the bar, you want to have your scapula in a depressed position. That means pulling your shoulders away from your ears. Then you'll use your leg drive, use your legs to reinforce the upper back position, to reinforce that scapular depression, to maintain stability, during the eccentric. Once you have the bar in the bottom position, then you can protract the scapula and you can allow the shoulders to elevate and to lock out. In between each rep, pull the scapula back down, elevate the chest, drive your legs through the floor, begin the eccentric, keeping that chest high, and then allow your scapula to move freely as you press into the lockout. This is a common misunderstanding, a common misconception about bench pressing and the role of the shoulders. We don't want to maintain the scapular depression throughout the whole movement. It's very challenging to lock out the elbow if your shoulder is also being pulled down by your lat. I appreciate your support and uh, subscribe for, for more.